Hey guys, it's Taylor and welcome back. I have been off the Appalachian Trail for over a month now and I definitely miss it. I miss hiking, I miss making the videos every day, I miss the people, but I am still enjoying my time at home. I'm taking a lot of time to do things I don't usually do, house renovations, cleaning my office, cooking a lot, um, going on a lot of day hikes. So. Day hiking is something I'm going to be talking about in this video a little bit, but I really want to show you what I bring on my day hikes. I want to show you what I think I need for these small local hikes that usually range four to eight miles. So I'm going to get into that. So this is the pack I take on day hikes in the fall, spring, and summer. If I day hike in the winter, I'd take a bigger backpack because I'd need more things to keep myself safe. But this has been working for right now. It's from Nathan. I'll insert the model that I got because I don't know off the top of my head. But it's pretty old. I think they kind of update their backpacks every year. So I don't know if this exact backpack would still be on the website. But I really like it. I like the amount of storage in the front. Um, it's just kind of a running vest. As you can see, it's pretty small, but it can fit a lot. So what I do in the front is I put my phone in here because it's really easy to grab. I put dog treats in this small Velcro pocket. I put protein bars or Snicker bars in this one because it zips and they won't fall out. And I can put the wrappers in this little mesh in front of it. Then there's a bonus pocket that I can put more snacks in there, maybe bigger snacks that don't fit in the front. Like I think there's beef jerky in there right now. Um, I love taking gushers on hikes. That's my new craving. I want them all the time. And then it's got another pocket here, which honestly I don't usually put things in, but we'll see because I'm going to pack this up right now to go on a day hike. So my day hikes have been shorter, so I feel like I don't need to take much food because I usually eat before my hikes and after my hikes and then just need a couple of things to munch on while I'm out there. So this is what I'm choosing for today. Anything larger like this, I will just put in this outside pocket. All right, so next up is water. When I was on the AT, I would bring two smart water bottles with me and filter the clean water right into those. But on day hikes, I prefer a water bladder and filling it up at home before I leave. It's two liters, so this is usually all I need for the length of the hikes I'm doing now and it's just I find it a lot easier having this right there and I drink more and it's just more convenient so that's my method so I'm gonna go fill this up right now all right so I put the water bladder in the backpack a good tip I have is to let this be the first thing you put in because it's pretty hard to try to cram it when the backpack's already full. Now I'm going to pack a couple other things. Something I always take with me, I actually got this while I was on the AT, but it's a Kula cloth and it's just a fancy pee rag. I think it's supposed to be cleaner, san more sanitary, and it's got, it folds so the dirty part is in the middle and then this part outside is clean and I'll just kind of carabiner it to the outside of my pack so it's easy to get to when I need that. So something else I always take with me on day hikes no matter what the weather is a rain jacket because you never know what you're gonna get and I'd hate to be out hiking and get wet and who knows how far away from the car I will be. So I have the Virtus rain jacket from z -Packs. And I got this in a size large, which is bigger than what I would usually get. But the reason I got this is because I'm able to put this over my backpack. So I don't need a pack cover for my backpack. 
I can put this on, keep myself dry, keep my everything inside my backpack dry. And I think that has been working out pretty well. And this rain jacket folds down pretty small and I'll just stuff it into the bottom. All right, so next I'm gonna put together a little emergency ditty bag for my hike. Now I'm gonna put things in here that I don't think I'm gonna need during my day hike, but will come in handy if I ever find myself in trouble. So uh, first up, I'm gonna put a little 5,000 milliamp battery and a charging cord. And this is in case my phone dies, cause I use my phone for navigation. And if it ever dies on a hike and I can't navigate or make a phone call or just even take pictures, um, I just feel a lot more safe when my phone is charged. So by packing this, I'll never have to worry about a dead phone. I am going to take my Garmin inReach and same thing, I wanna be able to com communicate if there's any trouble and I don't have service, if I get hurt, if I come across someone else that is hurt, I have a lot of peace of mind taking this. And then there's also a whistle attached if I ever need that. Um, next, I'm gonna add a headlamp in case my hikes last a little longer than expected and it gets dark and I still need to get back to my car. So I always make sure this is fully charged, but I always have that just in case. And then lastly, I have a little Ziploc bag of first aid, some ibuprofen, band-aids, there's a lighter, some repair tape, um, just very minimal. I've never really needed a first aid kit on a day hike, but it will be good to have. So all this stuff is in case of emergency to make myself feel more safe. So I always want that in the bottom of my backpack. And as you can see, it does pack down pretty small. So I'm gonna add that. So I have gloves just cause lately the weather in New Hampshire has been a little bit unpredictable. These are from Ultimate Direction and they're gloves, but they also have a little pocket with a rain cover. So they'll keep my hands dry and warm at the same time. And I recommend these. I got them on Black Friday for a good deal. So if you are interested, I check out Ultimate Direction. Not sponsored at all, but it would be cool if they did. <laughs> all right, I'm trying to think of what else I usually take on a day hike, but I actually think that's it. Sometimes I'll bring my tripod if I want to film or take a cool picture. If I'm not already wearing my puffy jacket, I might stuff my puffy jacket in there because it's still April in New England and it does get really cold outside. If I think of anything between now and when I leave for my hike, I'll let you know. But yeah, it's basically really simple. I'm not doing anything too dangerous or long during these times. So just food, water, and some emergency things will keep me good out on the trails. All right, this is the outfit I am wearing for today's hike. I just have a really thin long sleeve shirt from Under Armour with a tank top underneath and my enlightened equipment puffy jacket on top. And I just like layering, so I'm prepared for any type of weather. And then just plain black leggings with my ultras. All right, so I just got to the trailhead of the mountain I'm hiking today. I'm hiking Mount Row, and this is pretty close to my house. And there's a couple cars here, maybe like four. So it's not gonna be too busy like a lot of other popular trails around here are. And I'll just bring you along real quick and show you the view. I'm not gonna talk too much, but I got my pack right here. And I brought my tripod. I'm probably gonna take my puffy jacket off because it's like 60 degrees and sunny. I'm gonna get on the mountain. And of course I brought Callie to hike. I don't think I could hike without her. Look at that face. She's ready to go. Yeah. 
distance with like Murakusaki in the front. And then from up here we have a good view of Gunstock, the ski resort. I love this view. So this is as far as I'm going to go on today's hike. So I just turn around and I'm going to go back to the car. I love this little section of trail because it goes behind an elementary school. So. I don't know, maybe they make these in gym class, but that's cool. All right, I'm back in my car after that hike. It was about 4.2 miles. I was out there for an hour and a half. So to me, that's perfect. That's all I was looking for. I had a great time. I love that view at that top. I've done this hike a handful of times and it never disappoints. So I hope you enjoyed that video. I had a lot of fun making it and maybe it answered some of your questions because some people were wondering what I take on a day hike and how that works and all that jazz. So I will make more videos in the future. I have a couple planned in my head that I'm excited to film. Um, I hope you're subscribed and like this video and all that because it really supports me. I will try to put links to things in my day pack in the description, so check that out and I will see you in the next video. And Callie already fell asleep. We haven't even left the parking lot yet. <laughs>